fine rule for the ambiguous case. Let's start with an isosceles triangle. The two matching lengths are 11.5 centimetres, the two matching angles are 49 degrees, and the base is 15 centimetres. And we're going to split the isosceles triangle into two smaller triangles using a length of 9.2 centimetres. Let's find the size of angle X. Here is a larger diagram. And we're going to use this triangle to find the angle that we're looking for. So using the sign rule, we need to match up the opposite sides with their angles. So here we go, we have the right information. So using the formula sheet, sine capital A over little a equals sine capital B over little b. So using the information from the diagram, sine capital X over 11.5 equals sine 49 over 9.2. Multiply both sides by 11.5 to give you sine x equals 11.5 sine 49 over 9.2. Using your calculator, you can see that this gives you 0.933 and so on. And then to find the angle, we need to find the inverse of sine. So sine to minus 1, which is shift sine, answer gives you 70.6 degrees for three significant figures. So, there's our answer. Looking at the diagram closely, X looks acute, not acute, and 70.6 degrees is acute. This looks too big. So, what's going on? Let's go back to the original isosceles triangle that we started the question with. This time I'm going to highlight the other triangle in pink so that we can see and I'm going to call this angle Y. So let's look at these two triangles. Let's split them. If we were going to use a sign rule, we'd need to match up the angles with their sides. So X would be opposite 11.5. So Y is opposite 11.5. 49 would be opposite 9.2, but 49 is also opposite 9.2 because this is the same line. So when we set up the sign rule, you can see that we have the same equation for both. If I multiply both by 11.5, I would have the same equations again to try and find x and y. That's because angle x and angle y are calculated in exactly the same way. Your calculator will always give you the acute angle. Even though you can find either angle using the same calculation, your calculator will give you y. It doesn't know which one you're looking for, so it'll always give you the acute angle. To find the obtuse angle, because these are on a straight line, you'll need to do obtuse angle equals 180, take away the acute angle. So in this case, x is equal to 180, take away y. Going back to our original calculation, it was actually y that was 70.6, not x. So we'll take 70.6 which will give us 109.4 degrees. Whenever sign rule questions that you're answering, you always need to check whether your angle is acute or obtuse. You can do this by the diagram, um, or it may just ask you to find the obtuse angle. <laughs>